Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Paul Rogers, the Adjutant General for Michigan. I've been in this position for about nine weeks, and I'm very proud to have the opportunity to serve all of you and to serve our governor and our state and our nation in this capacity. I've been a member of the Michigan National Guard for 31 years, and over those years, I've uh, had a lot of great experiences, formulated a lot of uh, opinions, made a lot of observations, and now it's my opportunity to positively influence the direction this organization goes and to uh, implement some of those ideas that I've had. So I'm very excited. Uh, my opinions are based on, again, 31 years of observing everything you have done and all of your counterparts have done and the people who came before you. And I'm incredibly proud of the Michigan National Guard. It's a great organization and what we have contributed to our nation and our state is something we should all be very proud of. And I thank you for those contributions that you have made so far in your career. I'd like to applaud you for taking this opportunity to come to this conference this week. I apologize for not being able to be there in person. Uh, I'd rather be talking to you face to face, exchanging ideas, allowing you to question me and challenge me as to the direction I'm taking this organization and then learn from you as I set the course. Uh, but I will promise you, as I make my travels, I will take the opportunity to meet with you face to face and get that feedback. If you do have ideas, if you do have insights you'd like to share, share it with the Sergeant Majors, the officers, the senior NCOs that are there with you this week. And they will ensure that I get it back and I hear from you directly. So again, thank you very much for taking the time to be part of this leadership conference. This is a step you are making in your career to advance yourselves, but by making that step, you're also helping us advance this organization. So this is an investment in you, our leaders today, and our future senior leaders for the Michigan National Guard. One of the main initiatives I've taken with this program and, and under my tenure is to chart a, a course for our future. So right now, today, both on the Army and the Air, portions of our National Guard, we are studying the direction that the Air Force and the Army are going and the joint force at the De Department of Defense level. We are looking at the national military strategy and looking at our role and how we fit into that. We know who we are today. What we want to define is who we want to be and who we need to be going forward into the future. You're a key part of that. In order to move our organization forward, we need three main elements working together. First, we need to understand the strategy. We have to understand who we are today and who we need to be, and then we have to set in motion those deliberate actions in order to transform our organization. But none of that can be accomplished without the other two elements, and those elements are culture and leadership. Culture is critically important, and that's comprised of our values and our behaviors. And our values are clear. The Army defines them and the Air Force defines them very clearly. It's our behaviors that I need your help with. And we need to enforce our values through our behaviors throughout our formation. How we conduct ourselves every day. How we interact with one another. Our inclusiveness, our diversity are all critical parts of a very strong and prosperous culture. You are a part of this. So your investment by being at this conference is a signal that you want to be part of our future. And your leadership, which is that third bubble, is critical to ensure that we are moving forward in a very positive fashion for our organization. So your leadership to help influence and ensure that our behaviors are consistent with our values is a foundation on which our strategy is being built. So we are very excited about the future of the Michigan National Guard, the role we will play both in the Air Guard and the Army Guard. And we're very excited by the leadership we see in our junior enlisted. So this is your opportunity to not only take stock in the opportunities that are here for you, but also the role you want to play in helping us achieve the future Michigan National Guard that we're striving for. So as we start to work through the next few months to define that strategy, Please commit yourself also to working on our culture and providing that leadership in the fashion and at the organizational level that you find yourself today. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of everything you do and I'm very excited about our future. And once again, I apologize for not being there with you in person, but I promise you I will be making the rounds and think of what you want to share with me. 
you can share it with the leaders that are there. But then anytime you see me in the field or on the road, do not hesitate to reach out to me and give me your direct feedback. Thank you very much and have a great week. Good morning. Thanks for taking the time out of your already busy schedules to attend an event developing our airmen and soldiers at the rank of E6 and below. An event for E6 and below is important for a number of reasons. First, you are experts on mission accomplishment, lethality and readiness, all the number one priorities of our Department of Defense. Secondly, you're the ones we count on to uphold our values and culture and hold people accountable. All things very important in the effectiveness of our organization. And finally, you're leaders now, but you're also senior leaders for the future. I wouldn't be surprised if there are multiple command sergeant majors, command chiefs, maybe even a TAG or an ATAG in attendance today. I've seen the agenda. It looks like you're going to have a great, productive conference. And I look forward to hearing the things we can do to better support you out in the field. Thanks again for your attendance, and thanks for all you do for our nation.